I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. Hello everyone. Today's video is another tag that I was not tagged to do, but I saw Katie Tastic do it yesterday and I was like, oh my god, that is such an awesome tag. So I am doing the Taylor Swift Tag. Bum, bum, bum. Okie dokie. So let's just get into this. So it goes by songs. I'm doing the two songs she added. And I actually had to change one of the songs because I didn't have anything for that song. Like just, you know, whatever. But I'll let you know when I get to that one. So I have my little papelito here with all of the things on it. So let's get this tag on the road. The first song is We Are Never Getting Back Together and it's a book that you really liked at first but then you realize you wanted to just break up with the series, you know, as it went along. And for me, that choice is the House of Night series. I started reading this book my senior year, which was in 2009, and I really liked the first one, two, three, four four books, I really liked them. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool, blah, blah, blah. And I was in love with it, right? And then I got to, I haven't finished the series or anything. I'm not up to date. I'm like three books behind, something like that. But then I got to Awakened. I was like, oh my god, like this entire book was like a span of like a couple days or something like that. It was like a couple weeks or something. But it wasn't even just that. I just felt like useless and pointless I feel like they my issue is it's not that the series is bad it's that they dragged it on and honestly they should have probably ended the series a long time ago but whatever I'm never getting back together the next song is red a book with a red cover I don't have a whole lot of books with red covers but I'm going to show you my absolute favorite one was this, was this uh, easy to figure out? It's Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. This is like, I love Catching Fire. I love all three books. I don't like one more than the other, but I just wanted to like show this beautiful thing because I freaking love this series. It is, it's The Best Day, a book that makes you feel nostalgic. Now, I was gonna show the first book in the series, but realistically, it's New Moon that makes me feel nostalgic. It reminds me of my senior year. I read this, these books, and I'm showing you New Moon because it's my favorite one and it's the one I love the most. But Twilight makes me feel nostalgic because, you know, Twilight brought me a lot of good memories. Um, it was my first, like, big, like, fangirl thing I've ever kind of went through. I was, I'm still obsessed. I have a bunch of posters, I just don't have them up right now. I love Twilight. I don't need to justify it. I just freaking love these books. These books made me want to read so much. And New Moon's my favorite because if you hadn't figured out because New Moon's my favorite, it's because I kind of like Jacob and his snarky little teenager attitude. I don't know why. I always go for the other guy and I just, I love Edward though. I really do. And when I reread it, I kind of, you know, was leaning more towards him this last time. But this one makes me feel nostalgic. Four, a love love story, a book with a forbidden love. And for this one, I'm going to pick the love between, oh, oh, I love his name because I just realized I forgot what his name was. And that's going to be Ever and Damon's love in Evermore. Their love, like, I think, it, I don't remember which book it happened and I haven't finished the series. I still need the last book. And I haven't um, read these in a really long time. This was like years ago when I read them. But their love after a little bit becomes really toxic because they can't touch each other unless they want bad things to happen. So it's technically a forbidden love. Five. What was it again? <laughs> Song number five. I knew you were trouble. A character who's just so bad but you loved anyway. And for this one, even though the series is definitely not my favorite, I think the TV show is a million times better. I still enjoyed the series. I did. But, um, my favorite character. You know, this is actually kind of difficult because I have two characters that are really... Well, one of them's, like, bad. The other one's just, like, oh my god, like, why... Steph, like, Stephanie, why did you like him? So the first one I'm going to tell you, just because this is my number one, is Damon from The Vampire Diaries. I love me some Damon. Damon's an asshole. He's mean, he's bad to the bone, but it's this guy right here, you know, him, that sexy Damon that really made me love him even more. 
Ugh, so hot. And then, really quickly, I kind of like Peter from the Divergent series. I know. I have an issue. Song number six was supposed to be Innocent, a book that someone spoiled the ending for you. But honestly, I don't have a book on my shelf that someone spoiled the ending for me. So I switched that and I, I don't even, ha I've never read a book unless someone spoiled it for me. Like, the only thing that's ever been spoiled is if you watch the movie, but that's different. And um, so I changed it to Enchanted, a book that enchanted you at first sight and, you know, lived up to that excitement you got. And even though I'm still currently reading this book, I'm almost done with it. I'm going, I just, I really want to talk about it before I do my review. I have to talk about it as much as possible. And that is <gasps> Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Okay, I saw this cover and I was like, ooh, I like it. It seems really good. I'm excited to read it. I, <clears throat> I, I can't even finish Winter's Tale right now because I had to read this book. Oh my god, this book, people. Like, okay, I've been excited about books this year. Very excited. I read the Divergent series this year. I read Cypress House. You know, I've read really good ones. But before I go on a tangent, let me just let you know, this book is amazing. The character development is amazing. The protagonist is kick-ass. I love Darrow so much. I love the world. I love what Pierce Brown did to everything. And honestly, I'm going to talk more about this in the future when I'm done. But Red Rising enchanted me at first sight and I'm still like under its fucking spell. Like, holy crap, I love this book. Oh my god. Now I'm good. I got that fangirl moment out of me. I just, I, it's so good. Song number seven is Everything Has Changed. And that's one where the main character goes through like a crap ton of change type thing. Like, you know, from the beginning to end type thing. And I picked a series that I actually really, really enjoyed, and that is the Trill series by Amanda Hawking. Wendy goes through a lot of changes. She starts off as a teenage girl. Just making sure. She starts off as a teenage girl in the beginning of the book, and at the end of it, she's the freaking queen of the Trill. It's amazing. It's kind of awesome. She goes through a lot of character development, like changing and, you know, I mean, of course she's going to become queen. So a lot of things happen to her and yet she's still young, but I love it because she's so like mature, you know, like she has her moments, but she's very mature and I, I love this character. I think this is an awesome series, by the way. So Amanda Hawking's The Trill Series. It's a trilogy with Switch, Torn, and Ascend. Song number eight is You Belong With Me, and that's going to be your most anticipated book release, and that is Golden Sun, the sequel to Red Rising uh, by Pierce Brown, and it comes out in January 2015, I want to say. Oh my god, I want it out already so that we would have done with this when I could just start reading it. Like, you guys don't understand. This book, oh, oh, I will talk about it very soon, so keep an eye out because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to have a spoiler-filled discussion about Red Rising. Like, I just need to. I need to. But yes, Golden Sun, so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. But it's so far away. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay. Stephanie, calm down. You need to chill. You need to chill the fuck out. Okay. Song number nine is Forever and Always, and it is a favorite couple, you know, of a series or book, whatever. My favorite all-time couple is going to be Wanda, aka Wanda, and Ian from The Host. Um, I think what I really love about us, because Ian was an asshole to begin with, and then he falls in love with her, and it's so beautiful, and oh my gosh, like, I love Ian. Ian, I love him so much in this book. I, oh, 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 I love him. But, um, yeah, that's the couple. Song number 10 is Come Back, Be Here, and it's a book that you wouldn't want to lend out for fear of missing it too much and stuff like that. I couldn't just pick a book. Honestly, I don't like lending out books in general. I've done it in the past and um, never works out well for me because I take, I think, really good care of my books, you know? And I don't want someone else messing up my books. So quite frankly, and none of them. But if I had to be specific, it would probably be The Host or any of my Stephanie Meyer books, Hunger Games or... No, mostly those two. Like, those right there? No. And the Night World series, because I love those books. I like looking at them on my bookshelf, like these. Yeah, I wouldn't lend any of these out. First off, they're paperback and they're huge, and I don't want anybody messing these up. Alrighty. 
Song number 11, which was one of Katie Tastic's bonus songs, sorry, I keep playing with my hair, is Teardrops on My Guitar, and it's a book that made you cry a lot. I don't cry a lot for books, like, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that's going to cry the entire book or things like that, but I do have two books that, the only books I've ever cried for, I want to say. I can't really remember whether I cried or not, but I know for a fact I cried in these because just thinking about the movie coming out for the next one, I'm just so like, ugh, mm, heartbroken. But the first one's going to be Tiffios, you know, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I cried when, um, oh God, Gus, that's his name, right? I'm having the worst. Yeah. I cried when Augustus Waters died. That was the only part I cried in it. That's the only part I cried in the movie, too. But, um, I, I was just like, oh, so sad. I'm sorry, that just really did happen. And I cried quite a bit, not a whole lot, but, you know, I cried in Mocking Jay by Suzanne Collins. Oh, I love this book, guys. I don't care what anyone says, like, well, you know, it's not that I don't care what anyone says, but I know a lot of people don't like part the ending, how it ended. And honestly, I I thought it was amazing. It was perfect. But um, it was sad as crap, and I cried. I cried like a little baby in like two or three parts, I want to say maybe. More than just one. Oh my god! And we're at the last one. And song number 12, which is another bonus question, song, bonus song, is Shake It Off. A book you love so much, you shake off the haters. Twilight. Yeah, I don't know. I put my bookmark somewhere back in there so I wouldn't lose it. It's my Edward bookmark. But um, I don't care what people say. I love Twilight. Twilight to me is one of the best series I've ever read because it made me feel something. And really quickly, I'm going to go on a rant. I hate that people have to justify or like make a comment. Well, I know it's not the best written book in the world, but I still love it. No, you shouldn't have to um, like explain yourself. If you love this series, you love this series. I don't see why people always, always have to be like, oh, well, I know it's not as well written as Harry Potter. I know it's not like Hunger Games. I know it's not this. And I know it's not that. Who cares? Do you love the series? Then love it. Don't feel shame for loving Twilight. And I've never understood why, but they single Twilight out. They single it out. And it's just like, you have to like justify your means for loving this series. I don't give a crap. I love the series. I think everything about it is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I could care less what anyone says. Uh, but don't bitch about me liking Twilight because you probably like the House of Night series and I think it's a bad book. Everyone has, like, to each their own, okay? I know this is a random rant, but I don't understand why people just have to justify themselves. Let me lay you down so I don't throw you. And that is the book tag. I think it is so awesome. I freaking loved it. And I'm going to go film another video. So you're going to see me like this again in another video. So, later.